We're now going to solve systems of equations. We're going to learn how to solve them by addition, some textbooks called elimination, and then we're going to solve a system by substitution. To solve a system by addition, we're adding the two equations together. If I was graphing them, I'd be finding the point of intersection. So to solve this system, if I add them, I can add 1x and 1x, I get 2x. If I add my y's, plus y minus, minus y, go to 0, I get 2x equals 6 pretty quick. I solve the equation. Divide by 2, x is going to be 3. But I'm solving a system. The answer is a coordinate pair. If I was graphing this line and graphing this line, and then I would find the point of intersection, it's a coordinate pair. So I need an x and a y. I found x is 3. In order to get the y, I pick one of the equations, whatever looks easier to you, and substitute back. So I can take the top one or the bottom one, you will get the same answer, it doesn't matter. I usually pick the one with the least number of minuses, it's less chance for error but it's your choice. So let's say I pick this one. I have x plus y equals 4. I now know x is 3. So I substitute back. I have 3 plus y equals 4. Solve the equation. I get y is 1. I put my answer in coordinate pair notation, which is alphabetical order, x is first. So it's 3, comma, 1. All right, we'll do another one. Let's say I have 4x plus y equals negative 26 minus 4x minus 3y equals 30. I'm going to solve the system by addition. So... I see my 4x's go to 0. There's a real coefficient of 1 there. You can't forget the 1. I subtract, take the sign of the larger. I get minus 2y. This is an equal sign. So now I subtract, take the sign of the larger. I get positive 4. Solve the equation. So I get y is negative 2. So I add them together. I get one of my variables. Now I don't go add them again, I just substitute back to get the other one. You pick whichever equation you like, whatever looks easier. I don't know, this one's got two minuses, this has one minus, I'll pick this one, but it's your choice. I take one of the equations, wherever I see a y, I'm going to replace it with negative two. So I have 4x negative 2 equals negative 26. Solve the equation. 4x equals negative 24. Divide by 4. So x is going to be negative 6. Now I have to be careful because I have to put my answer in coordinate pair notation. x is always first. So just because I found this first, I can't put negative 2, negative 6. That would be a completely different point. X is first. It has to be negative 6, negative 2. So if you're taking a multiple choice test, beware. Tons of people pick negative 2, negative 6. X has to be first. All right, so now we'll do a third one. Try this one. 2x plus y equals 5. 3x minus y equals 20. I would hit pause on the video and try that yourself. So now, we'll do this quickly because hopefully you already did it and got it right. I add the two equations together. 3x and 2x is 5x, plus y minus y goes to 0, and I get equals 25. So I get x equals 5. I pick one of the equations, 2x plus y equals 5, and substitute back. 2 times 5 plus y equals 5. 
10 plus y equals 5. Subtract 10. So y equals negative 5. My answer has to be in coordinate pair notation. X is first. So it's 5, negative 5. Now you will notice that these came out so nice and easy because one of the variables went to 0. On my first system, do you see plus y minus y went to 0. So pretty quick, we got 2x equals 6. The second one, my 4x's went to 0. So pretty quick, we got minus 2y equals 4. My third one, my y's went to 0. So again, pretty quick, I got 5x equals minus 25. So now we have to do one where that doesn't happen. So now, if I added these together as it stands, I would have a problem. Because look what happens. If I add these, 1x and 2x does not go to 0. I would need a minus for one of them. So I get 2x. I get plus 13y, and I get 27. Then I'm stuck. So when we solve a system, x plus 7y equals 14. x plus 6y equals 13. The first thing I do is check to see if one of the variables will go to 0 when I add. I look at this and I see, well, the y's don't go to 0 and the x's don't go to 0. So if that happens, I make it go to 0. In other words, for one of these variables or one of these letters to go to 0, I need matching coefficients, opposite signs. We'll take a look at the ones that we just did before. If I look at this, I have matching ones, opposite signs, they cancel out. I have matching fours, opposite signs, they cancel out. Matching ones, opposite signs, they cancel out. So in order to cancel out or go to zero, I need matching coefficients, opposite signs. So here I have a 7 and a 6 are not matching. Here I have matching 1s. So if one of these was a minus, it'd be perfect. I can't just stick a minus in. But because they are equations, we do know that whatever I do to one side of an equation, I do to the other. So. I can't just stick a minus here, but I could take this whole side of the equation, multiply it by minus 1. I could take this whole side of the equation, multiply it by, multiply it by minus 1, and it won't change anything. So before I do that, this is so common in math, we do it all the time. Instead of writing my minus 1 here and my minus 1 here, we assume that you know then I am multiplying each side by minus 1. So what we usually say is let's just take one whole equation and multiply it by minus 1. Because we understand that you understand that I'm multiplying each side by it. So here we go. And people that are quick make mistakes. I have to distribute or multiply this minus 1 throughout the whole equation. So, my first term, I get minus x. Minus 1 times this, I get minus 7y, I get equals negative 14. A common mistake is to forget to multiply it by my whole number on the right, I get negative 14. This one stays. So sometimes I don't have to multiply by anything, sometimes I have to multiply by minus 1. So now, that goes to 0. I get minus y equals minus 1. I know I'm not done. I divide by minus 1. So y equals positive 1. But I know I'm solving a system that's not the answer. The answer has to be a coordinate pair. So I got to go back to one of the equations and substitute in. So I can go back to any of them, but we already added minuses. So what we usually do is go back to one of the originals, but any equation will work. 
So I go back to the originals. I don't know. You pick what's easier. 13 is smaller than 14. I'll pick that one. So I take one of the equations. X plus 6Y equals 13. Wherever I see a Y, I'm going to put 1 in its place. X plus 6 times 1 equals 13. X plus 6 equals 13. Subtract 6. X equals positive 7. So, in coordinate pair notation, X is first. It's going to be 7 comma 1. So let's do another one. Let's say I have 5X plus 4Y equals 1. I have 3X plus 4Y equals 7. So now, I'm solving a system by addition. I look to see if one of the variables goes to 0. I look here and I see that gives me an 8. They do not go to 0 because one of them would have to be a minus. So I get an 8. So my x's and y's don't cancel. If nothing cancels, I make it cancel. I do what it takes to get matching coefficients opposite sides. So I got matching 4's. So the easiest way to do this one, if one of these was a minus, it'd be great. So I can just multiply one of the equations by minus 1. And it's your choice, top or bottom. I'll just do the bottom just to show you that it doesn't matter. All right, so here we go. My top one states 5x plus 4y equals 1. I multiply negative 1 by everything. So I get negative 3x, negative 4y equals negative 7. My y's go to 0. That was the plan. So I'm left with 2x equals negative 6. Divide by 2, x is negative 6. 3. Once I know x is negative 3, I go back to one of the equations. You can go back to these, but we already had minuses. We usually go back to one of the originals. I don't know. I'll pick the top one. So I pick 1. I get 5x plus 4y equals 1. x is negative 3. So wherever I see an x, I'm going to replace it with negative 3 plus 4y equals 1. Negative 15 plus 4y equals 1. Add 15. 4y equals 16. Divide by 4, y is going to be 4. I put my answer in coordinate pair notation. x is first. It's alphabetical order. So it's minus 3, 4. Now, you try this one, put the video on pause, and then check back for the completion. I look at this one, and I see that my 3x's don't go to 0 because they're both pluses. So in this type, I have to multiply one of the equations by minus 1. So I get minus 3x plus 2y equals negative 22. Make sure you have a plus here and a minus here. 3x plus y equals 7. They go to 0. I get 3y equals negative 15. Divide by 3. y is going to be negative 5. I don't go add a whole system again. I pick one and substitute back. I guess I'll pick this one. So 3x plus y equals 7 y is negative 5. So wherever I see a y, I'm going to put a negative 5. I solve the equation. Add 5. 3x equals 12. So x is going to be 4. Coordinate pair notation. My solution or my point of intersection is 4 comma negative 5. 